guys, how's it going? So, today, I'm actually tired of, uh, I have no idea what to eat, but I have some chicken I had in my fridge and I just said, you know what, just take them out, maybe just grill everything and uh, smoke everything, probably just vacuum pack them and put them back in the freezer and have them in about one. Basically, that's it. Well, that's what food is. Uh, so, um, well, that's basically what I'm doing today. I haven't had anything to eat today. I have no idea what to eat. That's how crazy it is. Um, yeah, it's my life. Story of my life. Okay, so basically, when I, I'm i going to do like a dry rub marinade. Um, unfortunately, <laughs> I don't have garlic powder. I don't have onion powder. So I have um, chopped up garlic and onion. Now, this isn't the best thing because the garlic particularly burns, but because I'm going to smoke it, um, I'm not doing direct heating, it's indirect, so maybe that was very good. And well, it'll go inside either ways. So I'm gonna put all my garlic and onions inside. <clears throat> Probably wanna see what I'm doing instead of seeing. And um, usually like, boom, I don't wear gloves to work, but with chicken, Mm, all that cross content contamination and everything. I'd rather just you know wear gloves. Be safe. Uh, plenty of salt, obviously, because it's a thick cut, and you want all the salt to go properly inside. Same with pepper. Pepper burns also, but I mean, just for the marinade, it's not so bad. And then it won't go. It's it won't be so bad because obviously, I mean, it won't be too spicy because well, obviously this is marinade and. It will, um, all later I'm gonna make a barbecue sauce. Oh no, I have my barbecue sauce already. Um, fortunately, well, I made like a really big batch, so like, I don't have a video for that right now. But, anyways, you guys will see how it works. I'll probably reduce the heat and show you guys how it works basically. And uh, so, this is a uh, paprika, Spanish paprika. This is not spicy, so it's not super spicy. So this, that's all, and um, all the well. So bind everything together, and so this is what I'll do. I'll marinate this for, well, cause I'm not ready to cook right now. Maybe I still have like an hour or two. So I'll marinate this till I am ready. But basically just rub everything inside. That's what we're gonna do. Rub it in properly, let it marinate, sit, sit in a bit. It's just very tiny pieces, I don't know. Spanish chicken. <laughs> Yeah, so it's basically what we're gonna do. That's just it. I'll leave it like this, then uh, when I'm ready, throw on the smoker. It's be good. And I'll have this in my fridge just chilling for me whenever in the freezer, because I will vacuum pack them, but keeps them almost as fresh as I just made the first day. Obviously it probably tastes one or two. Um, yeah. So that's just basically it. So I have uh, six, oh, eight, not bad. That will last me a bit. Since I'm the only one that really likes, well, okay, Liana likes not so much of meat in this house. Basically, that's it. So um, very simple recipe today. Lazy recipe, I call it. So that's it. Take off my glove. Uno. Idos. Trash. Voila! And to clean. <laughs> so anyway, I'll catch you guys on the rebound. Set up. Oh no. Shoot, I forgot. Dangerous with my gloves. I better take off the gloves first. I don't want to burn my burn myself. Yeah, so well, fire, fire, fire. This is probably one of the best inventors inventions ever created. Yeah. This takes about ten minutes. 
10 15 minutes and my coal should be ready. Chicken has been marinating for I think almost maybe almost an hour or two now. Is it properly lit up? Yep, properly. So we'll let that we'll get back in 15 minutes. Guys, uh, my coat is looking very, very sexy, very, very hot. So, I always put some wood inside, especially when I smoke it takes time. And it's sort of cold already, so it's wet. This is indirect chicken. That's, uh, there's no chicken over the grill, over overheat. It's just to the sides, everything. So, I'll show you guys what it looks like. So, basically, that's it. So, I have my coal on that side. Chicken on this side, so that's basically that's indirect cooking. Oh, there is a piece of coal over there, so I'll just take it out. Um, yeah. So what I'll do is cut this. Right now, open this like um, halfway. Then put the bottom. Also, about halfway. Now, most important, sorry, this is my dad. I have to put this over the chicken so that way I'll turn it this way. So the smoke has to go over the chicken. I'll uh, see if I can show it to you guys. I'll open it once more. This is very important. The smoke has to go over the chicken to cook it. So that's what we're doing. So it's slow and low. And then, uh, so we'll see. And then, um, obviously, beautiful day as usual. Life is beautiful, what can I say? <laughs> okay, um, guys, so 15 minute mark. So we'll see what it looks like. <gasps> oh yeah, looking nice, looking nice. So what I'm gonna do now is uh, gonna try to turn it. it doesn't hasn't given me any well. I didn't expect any grill marks, but let's just take it up to reduce all the fat drippings. We still have a long way to go. have a 
long way to go. So, that. Probably should open a little more to give more heat. And, yeah. Okay, so, uh, we'll see. So now basically I am going to put my barbecue sauce, homemade barbecue sauce, now y'all can see it. So after this, we'll do maybe like what 10 minutes and it's ready. Oh, it's looking nice. You guys have to see this, really. So, basically, so what should I should have done was turn it, I'll turn it around, then do another, another one. So this is my homemade barbecue sauce. It's my special recipe. <laughs> right, I showed them. Oh, there you are. So turn it around. Oh, 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 This is sexy. So all together, it's been about an hour and a half. So wasn't didn't take as long as I thought it would. But yeah, so mm. more minutes okay moment of truth oh, oh. 